Today's lesson is topic 7.1, arrays and multiplying two-digit numbers by multiples of 10. The objective for today is I will color and create an array to show how to multiply two-digit numbers by 10. The vocabulary for today, be sure to write these down in your math journal. An array is a way to display objects in rows and columns. A rectangle is a shape with four sides and all four right angles. A square is a shape with four equal sides and all four right angles. A right angle is an angle that is 90 degrees or is a perfect corner. Here's our problem for today. There are 10 teams in a baseball league. Each team has 25 players on the roster. Use any way you can to find out how many players there are in all on the team. Use place value blocks or a drawing to help. Be sure to write this down in your math journal and solve without using your grid chart so far. Go ahead and pause the video now and do that. Go ahead and glue in your grid sheet. One way to solve this problem is to make an array. How many teams are in the league? Looking back at the problem, we have 10 teams in the league. How many players are on each team? We have 25 players on each of the 10 teams. How many 10s and 1s are in 25? When we look at the place value of 25, the 5 is in the 1s and the 2 is in the 10s. So if I have two groups of 10, I have 20 and I have 5 1s. We can use our breaking apart method to break apart our number and create an array. Looking at this array, the red part of the model shows 10 groups of how many. So the first group is 10 groups of 10. The second one is another set of 10 groups of 10. So I have 10 groups of 20 total. Then I also have my green section. What does the green part show? The green part shows five groups of 10 or 10 groups of five. Either way, my answer for that would be 50 and my 10 groups of 20 would be 200. How can you find the number of red squares in 10 groups of 20? I can look at my 10 groups of 20 and I know that 10 times 10 equals 100 or I can count my, ray, my columns and rows in my array and I also know that 10 times 10 is 100, so if I have that twice, I'm going to have 200. How can you find the number of green squares in 10 groups of 5? In 10 groups of 5, I know that 5 times 1 is 5, and I still have my 0 in the 1's place, so my number is not really 5 times 1, it's 5 times 10. 10 groups of 5 gives me 50. How many squares are there in all? So I broke apart the whole number, but it's important for me to bring it all back together. So I will have to add them together. So my total will be 250. In your math journal, using the other portion of your grid sheet, solve 20 times 17 by creating an array. Break it apart in whatever way you can to solve it. Be sure to add everything back together at the end to find your total. Go ahead and finish your problem and you are done for the day.